Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to work with our auto-synchronizing component in Pernet. Now, this is also known as the network reflection component, but auto-synchronizing obviously uh, is very readable as well. Now, I have a bit of a difficulty here because look at this, I've made it with my character, so when I hold space, a line renderer will come out of him to show how absolutely fast he is. But for some odd reason, it's not on the other screen because this is not actually synchronized. So first of all, let me go and show you how this setup looks. So stopping the editor here, I'm going to go into the um, setup of the player movement here, which you can see is a mono behavior. And I've just taken the script that we used in the very first getting started video. And as you can see, I reference my trail renderer. And what I do is whenever I hold space, we're emitting to true. And when I'm not holding space, we're emitting to false. Now the trail renderer on the player is really as basic as it gets. It is just a trail that gets thinner over time, lasts for about half a second, and as you can see by default it's not emitting. Now obviously a good rule of thumb in networking is if something looks different on two different screens, it means you're just doing something different. In this case we're just not synchronizing it. We're, nothing is synchronizing it, so when something is happening on your local screen, not on other screens, you can always just tell yourself, well, I'm probably not synchronizing it. The auto sync component luckily got our back in this case, or the network reflection component. So if if you just go add component and you can just search for reflection you should find network reflection right here it'll tell you that it's right now not tracking any behavior and in our case i can just drag and drop the trail renderer right in here now the first thing we got to do is we got to think about what is it that we want to track in our case we want to track the emitting pool that we have right here on the trail renderer that's the one we're also changing in our code now all i have to do here is just i click add then i'll have this yellow drop down here and here I need to find the emitting property, which fortunately for me is near the top. So I'll just click on this. And essentially what this does in this whole network reflection component is it finds every single value that it can within any component, which means you can even network your own scripts, auto-synchronize those as well with just this component. It's immensely useful. In this case, obviously, it's a very simple use case, but you can use it for much more advanced stuff as well. And essentially, any properties that change, this counts for values or bools or whatever really you want it to be, any parameters that you have, you can try and network and use network reflection for them to auto network them and it should really be as easy as that so now if i go and save this and i go and hit play here i hit play over here you can see now that i'm running around when i hold space now it is automatically emitting on both screens and it's really as easy as that there's not much more to it i hope you enjoyed this video it's simple straightforward and probably pretty quick so remember join the pernet discord link in the description and in the pinned comment remember to leave a like comment and subscribe and other than that i just hope that you have a wonderful day